It is 9 a.m. on a frigid Saturday morning, but that hasn't prevented CU alum Adam Kulin from doing what he loves most. That was dramatically further than I intended. <laughs> These regular trips to the mountains are not just for fun, but serve a purpose. For Kulin, okay. it's all about perfecting his marksmanship with a firearm. After a six-month-long process, Kulin has taken his Second Amendment right to the next level, having obtained his concealed carry permit. Uh, it was right after the Aurora shooting that I decided to get mine, um, and just not wanting to ever find myself in a position where I was going to have to essentially bum rush a guy who was trying to kill people, um, but being able to shoot back and being able to do so effectively. Gun ownership may have started as a weekend hobby where firearms were only found at shooting ranges and in the home. However, the Colorado Concealed Carry Act of 2003 has changed this setting. No longer are law enforcement personnel the only people with firearms in the public. Private citizens may now conceal a firearm on their person after completing proper training. And now, the issue has sparked debate on the CU campus. Um, I'm fine with it. I mean, it's, um, you know, I know each state does it individually, but, um, you know, Second Amendment rights and all that, like, I understand, I get it. But with any controversial issue, opinions will differ. Well, I don't agree with it. I don't think they should be able to carry firearms on campus. Whether you agree or disagree, the Colorado Supreme Court has spoken. Well, since March, when the Colorado Supreme Court ruled that concealed carry permit holders were allowed to carry weapons on campus, um, that has been the law. So if you are a valid permit holder, you have to be at least 21, go through classes, and be approved by the Sheriff's Department, go through a background check, you can carry guns on campus. The March ruling ended a drawn-out legal debate between concealed carry permit holders and the CU Board of Regents. Um, I think it was a good application of jurisprudence, um, and I think it really will lead to a safer campus community. Guns are not something to be taken lightly, and the concerns voiced by those opposed are valid. However, CU police estimate the number of guns on campus is minimal. The uh, sheriff's office has the list of who are concealed weapons permit holders for the county. But that's not a publicly available list. But through some statistics and looking at ages and uh, ages of people who have the permits, it's most likely less than 1%. There are harsh consequences for drawing your gun, even if that situation is justified. So for permit holders, this is a last line of defense. I have pepper spray and I'd per much rather prefer to pepper spray somebody in that situation. But if it comes down to you know, a choice between dying personally or seeing somebody else die or having to shoot some sort of attacker, shooting the attacker would definitely be the choice I'd have to make. While the debate is sure to continue, CUPD strives to protect the rights and safety of all who set foot on the Boulder campus. Daniel Harlan, News Team Boulder.